What is up you guys, Prashik Eda here. Today we are going over a quick comparison I think you don't see a lot of videos on YouTube about. We are going over the Overwatch Precision Hab Blue Magwell and we're gonna compare that to the SLR Rifleworks Magwell. So uh, both of these Magwells are for Glocks. So today we have, we're gonna look at the G45. And here it is right here. I have an FDE. And then we're gonna compare that to the SLR that's sitting on a G19. So here it is. So I think these two uh, magwells are very unique because they have this very sleek design with this lip. Uh, I find this lip to be very helpful because it locks your fingers in onto the frame, especially with more of the compact grips. You might find your fingers hanging off because you have larger hands. That uh, lip right here really helps lock that pinky in. And once your support hand comes in, I think you know it marries it very well. In the past, I have run, uh, I've run Terran Tactical, the Magwell, the EDC carry one. Uh, I will pop a picture of it right here, and I think that one is it's a very it's a simple design, right? It's kind of just like a box that goes all around your entire pistol, but it lacked that ergonomic of that little lip that kind of kicks out and upwards, which gets your uh, your fingers up into the frame. So. Let's go look at that tabletop. We will compare the two. So right here we have our G45 with the Overwatch Precision Have Blue Magwell. And then on this side we have a G19 with our SLR Magwell right here. So we are clear, just for the record. Clear, and we are clear. So. If we take a look side by side, these magwells are actually very uh, similar in design. So I ran both just to see which one I would like more. And I think, you know, it might be up to you, but I might be leaning towards the um, Overwatch Precision. But, you know, don't take my word for it. You be the judge. Everyone feels different. Everyone has different sized hands and everything. So uh, if we take a look, they both have this little lip design, which is very nice. I think especially in these compact frames like the 19, it really helps lock your pinky in. So, you know, if you have bigger hands, oftentimes these compacts might feel like, let's say a Glock 26, right? Your pinky's kind of hanging off of it. But the lip design really helps you lock it in and it kind of pushes it up into the frame. I know some people get, you know, like an undercut, for example, just to get deeper up in there. So this is a great example of something that you don't have to alter your frame, but it can help with that. And then bonuses, you know, you get better reloads. So, especially once your support hand comes and locks in, it all, like, I want to say it wraps over very nicely and you get very high and tight on there just from the, the magwell itself, right? Same with the G45, this is the Overwatch in case you forgot. Uh, if you have bigger hands, for example, my hands actually fit fine, there's a little bit of space there, but with my support hand, it actually, I can feel it once I wrap it over like that. And I feel very secure, very tight under the firearm. So the difference is we can take a look now the SLR has some branding here. Overwatch, I did not see any branding on it at all. You know, that's not a big deal. But as you see, there is a bevel right here. SLR does not have that, right? And then once you tilt it slightly forward, you'll see that with the Overwatch, they actually had this bevel that goes smoothly all the way into where your magazine would go. On SLR instead, they kind of made the bevel a bit to the back. And what that does is I guess that leaves a little bit of the plastic from where your uh, actual frame is at. So I don't know necessarily if that would catch, for example, like right about there. Because usually with a magwell, you kind of, you know, like you get to be a little bit sloppier with your reloads, right? You don't have to be as perfect. So the thing is, I think if you catch it at the right angle, sometimes it just might, you know, your magazine might just catch that piece of plastic right there. But you know, in the long scheme of things, like it's not really a big deal because if you're using the proper force to really shove a magazine in, you can index with your finger. I don't think that's like the end of the day, right? So even if you kind of give it at an angle, it should correct itself. But that's just a design difference, I think, just to keep in mind when you're comparing the two. Now, I don't mean in any way one magwell is better than the other. I'm simply, you know, pointing out some little differences that I've seen amongst the two magwells. So another thing that I've noticed is, so this lip on the 19, for example, as you can see, kind of sticks out a bit right there. When I first had this magwell and I was doing a bunch of holster draws at the range, 
it kind of, I wasn't used to it. That part would dig into my pinky because you're basically gripping on like a bit of an uneven surface right there, right? It's like half of your pinky is on the magwell, the other half is on the frame and that, that bit was a bit funky. It almost like messed up my holster jaws because I would rip the gun out the holster. I'm sorry, I just whacked my tripod. I would rip the gun out the holster and then it kind of pushed my pinky in a funky way, which I wasn't used to. But then, you know, after a couple of repetitions, you kind of get used to that. But that was one thing I definitely did notice about this SLR Magwell. If you take a closer look at the Overwatch Precision, it's actually very close to the frame. You can see how it's nicely like tucked in there. And to me, I just really wish the SLR Magwell did the same thing. As you can see, like it sticks off, right? So your pinky kind of sits into that little gap, which is kind of funky. So on this one, I just wish the SLR would hug a little bit closer to the frame like that so that your pinky kind of meshes on there nicely. It's almost like a very smooth edge versus if it like stuck out just that much more. Let me get a close up for you. There we go. Very hard to tell, but as you can see, the SLR just sticks out a little bit more and the Overwatch sticks to your frame very nicely. So you be the judge. Uh, I think both are very great magwells. Definitely check out both websites, see which one works better for you. And keep in mind the SLR, I do believe they have two different versions. One will be more of like a low profile and one's a bigger profile, I think. Uh, I have to double check. I will try to put them up here when they do. You know, when I'm going over the video editing. So they have different versions. And also another cool thing about the SLR is they do a 19X one that I've had in the past. The 19X has that funky lip, which doesn't allow certain um, you know, magwells because it blocks it. They tell you, a lot of brands tell you, you have to like delete the lip, you gotta like sand it off or dremel it off before using a magwell. SLR makes a really cool one that actually has a pocket that accommodates for that, so you can just put it right on. So very cool, check them both out. SLR, Rifleworks, Overwatch Precision, and give it a try, let me know what you think. All right, you guys, thank you once again for tuning in and checking out the quick review. Uh, you know, in the future, we hopefully do some more quick reviews just like this about simple gear, uh, just so you can make the right decision or just see which you know, piece of accessory might be better for you. Uh, I don't, you know, in any way mean that one brand is better than the other. I think they both make great stuff. Like Overwatch Precision makes some cool triggers, for example. SLR, um, Rifleworks, they make, besides Magos, they make awesome accessories for ARs and AKs, for example. So definitely check them both out. I'm not sponsored by either of them. That'd be cool if I was um, Overwatch or SLR. If you guys are watching this, social media manager, whoever's in charge of that stuff, send me something. Shoot me an email, presscheckaddict at gmail.com. So, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are having a great new year. Uh, happy holidays and all that. If I haven't seen you guys, uh, make sure to have fun and stay safe. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If anything you want me to check out, any questions about the builds, let me know. Make sure to follow on Instagram at PriceCheckAddict. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.